think it's like a huge part of my whole brand on social media is that I have a cute room. But I mean, I'm proud of it and I've built it to reflect my personal interests and just like me. I love being in my room and so many other people love my room on like Pinterest. So today I wanted to talk about like some tips and tricks on how to make your room look cuter. Tips that are zero cost. Rearranging furniture. I've always like looked at my room a lot and just like imagined how it would look differently if I moved things around. My room used to look completely different than the way it looks now because the furniture was moved completely differently. After that makeover, I actually changed it's like everything was rearranged it will automatically create like this new space. A thing I really like about my room right now is that my bed is like under my window. That's one thing. And also having your desk next to a big window just feels really, you know, it just feels good. Declutter surfaces like that needs to be decluttered to be honest. Moving things around on the surface of your tabletops, changing the setup and layout a little bit, cleaning the inside. I have specific videos dedicated to how I clean certain areas in my room. I reorganized my closet in a recent video. I reorganized my vanity. I've done a lot of reorganizing inside my drawers to keep it clean and organized. I really recommend getting like organizers like those containers. You could also just recycle old organizers. A lot of people complain a lot about organizers being like overconsumption and that you don't need them. I disagree. I actually think they are very useful and I don't think it's overconsumption because you won't be throwing those containers out. Like organizational containers will always be useful. Personal opinion, I mean, you don't have to get them, but I think they're really helpful. Tip number four. I don't know. It depends if you have a drawer like this already, but it's a drawer or a cupboard or something that has doors. And you just dedicate that one drawer or cupboard to putting everything in that is ugly and just looks bad inside your room, but like that you still want to keep. Um, for me, those are, it's books. I know that's sad. The covers are not like, they're so vibrant sometimes and not cohesive. So I put them all in one little shelf and that's like my ugly shelf. And I also just dump random things in there. It's really messy in there. That's the only drawer that's a cupboard area that's not organized because I dump everything in there. Swapping around the decor on your table. I don't know, it depends if you have decor. Next section is low cost stuff. Stuff that does cost money but is pretty cheap. This is my favorite thing ever, okay? And I think it, literally this works for whatever, like it doesn't matter what style you're going for in your room. Making up wall collage, posters, putting up posters. It's such a cheap way to immediately like add spice to your room. I love that and I highly recommend getting pictures from Pinterest, getting album covers. It's my favorite way to express my music. Preferences to put like album posters on my walls or just whatever stuff you enjoy. Like just have a little collage um, and it's it looks so cool. And I've seen some, people, some of my friends do it and it looks so good in their room every time. I've had a friend who did like an anime wall. Like they just printed out like manga and anime posters and they made a collage. It looks so cool. If you're interested in the posters I have in my room, I have a Pinterest board. Um, printing them out on A4 pieces of paper. I just use my regular printer to print these out. These bigger ones I got from a printing service. Maybe you went to a concert and have a poster from there, which is super cool. You could also just have random art art pieces that you like. Maybe you have a vinyl and then you could put the vinyl cover. I put a plushie tags. Like literally it could be anything. This is a really niche interest I have, okay? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you won't understand this quote, but it's a really niche interest. And if you if you know where this quote is from, let's be friends. There's a postcard here that has lyrics from a Taylor Swift song. It's from Last Kiss. This is from Alana Del Rey, like, CD. Timothy Chalamet and Saoirse. The random interests I have, Lady Bird, I love, that is one of my favorite movies ever, so that's a poster from there. Uh, Blue Manisters by Lana Del Rey. I don't have a CD player, so I just stuck them up there. Sony Angel poster, I love this one. Random interests I have. Claro, I love her. Viva Doobie poster, because I love Viva Doobie. Some other cute things. This is You Look Good. It's like from Glossier. I like getting little bowls and just putting stuff in them. I like these decorative little bowls. So you don't even have to get like a decorative one, just like one from your kitchen to store cute things in. I think this is called clustering. It's like when you put a lot of cute things just like randomly rearranged together and it just, it looks really visually 
pleasing. I have a couple of them. I have like jewelry ones. I have little bowls with lip products. I have ones with like hair stuff. Go to your kitchen and find a cute mug or bowl. Getting organizers. Those little plastic containers or those... There's different types of organizers. I have this one, this rotating one for skincare. I've had some little storage bins and containers from like five years ago and I'm still using them actively. Like they're always gonna be useful to me. Getting cute pillows and blankets and like plushies is pretty inexpensive way, especially bed sheets. Like just getting cute bedding that you like, whatever, instantly like brightens up. Um, elevates your room and it's pretty low cost and it's something you'll be using for a long time I also have these pillows that I've had since I moved in like from a decade ago these like pink pillows I just think like getting cute bedding is like super worth it lights as in buying cute lamps I feel like salt lamps are so timeless I don't know why but, like they've been pretty much in style for I don't know, it was for such a long time. Like I remember seeing them around in 2016 and they're still like trendy and cute today. Other lamps, I have this cute little mushroom lamp. That's a more like trendy item, but I also really like that one. So last section is higher cost stuff. It's not really higher cost, is it? It depends on what type you're buying, but getting plants. Clearly I love plants. You could get fake ones if you're really that terrible at taking care of them, but I have real ones and I'm not exactly the best plant mom, but they're still alive, so that, that says something. It depends on what style again. Like, I know not everyone's into plants, but I feel like they just look really good generally. Feel really proud whenever they're growing. Monstera plants have always been cool. They just look so freaking cool. And they're pretty affordable, I think. Getting a really big one would be expensive, but you can get a small, medium one and it will grow within like a year. I want to show you guys some plant progress. This was last year when I bought some plants. And this is the same Monstera plant a year ago, and this is her now. And this is even crazier. You're not going to believe me. This plant, yes, this is how it looked like last year. It was close to death. It was hanging on by a string. I thought it was going to die, but this is how it looks like now. And, like, I know you're not going to believe me, but this is literally, like, one year. One year of watering it properly, and it grew this big. I don't know why this is in the higher cost section, but you can get a custom calendar. I think this is useful for everyone, right? Like everyone would need a calendar. I have a wall calendar and I customized it, but I think you can find photo printing services everywhere. I really recommend getting like customized wall prints, especially in the form of calendar. It's so, so useful, but also customizable and really cute. It's great for all the students out there. See what I did there? August and Taylor Swift. This is a Taylor Swift there from Tis the Damn Season. This is my favorite page. Don't smoke kids. Mirrors. Gotta ha I'm kind of questioning how I plan this video out. May or may not be kind of trendy things that will pass, but the mirrors I've gotten, I've loved them. I have this cute little heart one that I hang up on my wall and I've had this for a long time and I still love it. I have this wave mirror. Also just getting a huge like standing mirror. Great for outfit checks and just makes your room feel bigger when you have a big mirror. So this is definitely a lot more expensive but you could try getting new furniture pieces. Some of my favorite furniture investments, this vanity. I got this when I moved in, but I think it's so worth it getting a vanity, especially if you're one of those really girly girls. I got this I got this chair last year actually, and it's my favorite thing ever now. This really depends on what kind of style you're going for and what your interests are, but I like getting pieces from Hello Kitty from San Leo and from like Miffy because those are characters that I really like, especially Hello Kitty. She was a huge part of my childhood. I love her. Little things like that, characters, fictional characters you like and having merch um, of them th throughout your room. Um, I'll put up the Timu code and all the information again make sure to check them out i have like links in the comments and in the descriptions i've made so many videos on my room as well on this channel because it's just i've worked a lot on it and it's been my dream as a kid to have like a pinterest room that everyone loves and i'm really glad that i'm at this point where i have exactly that like a room that is trending on pinterest and has a lot of people liking it depends on the person though because a lot of people also say that my room is like too much and like too maximalist it really depends on what kind of style you're into but personally love the space i created for myself these are my tips and um may not be applicable to everyone but i hope that helped and